Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24 7 Mode channel, your source for on point and no hype reviews. We are back yet again, everybody. We are back with another fragrance video today. And this one right here, guys, is a fragrance comparison. It is basically a two for one video. Yes, you guys are getting two reviews in one on these two fragrances that are technically flankers of each other or they're flankers of the original Torino. And I'm sure a lot of y'all have questions regarding both of these fragrances and how they compare with each other now before i continue please do not forget to like and subscribe guys okay liking subscribing and watching the ads is a great big deal to the channel we are headed to 14,000 subscribers so keep the support coming i promise you guys that this month is going to get crazy because i do have a lot of these reviews coming like the one today guys okay so thank you so much for your support let's go now for today guys we are back at the house of serjoff yes serjoff right here and as you can tell this is their sample set which is to me one of the coolest things that the house of Sergeoff has done because they're really putting everything to the test every single fragrance uh, from the grabbers to the upscale grabbers even the real expensive ones you guys can try at a flat price it's a flat rate 25 euros and this sample set has four fragrances i'm sure a lot of y'all got excited when i shared uh what four fragrances i chose on my community tab but for today guys we are going to talk about the two fragrances the two blue ones right here torino 21 as well as torino 22. i have been sampling these guys and torino 21 came out i believe early of this year or last year this one really caused a huge wave of hype especially for the spring summer season and of course torino 22 this is the one that a lot of y'all are curious about because this one launched recently guys okay so today i'll be breaking down both fragrances two for one like i said and then i will be comparing them i will be sharing my thoughts as to what i like better between the two or what i would suggest guys okay so let's get it the first fragrance i will review will be torino 22 simply because this is the latest one and i'm sure some of y'all already know about 21 so i'm going to spray torino Torino 22 right now and give you my thoughts. Mm. Okay guys, now let's talk about Sergeoff's Torino 22 first, shall we? Now Torino 22 was a fragrance made specifically for a special sporting event and that's the Nitto ATP Finals. ATP Finals, this is a tennis event and I'm assuming Sergeoff was like a big sponsor of that. So they made this fragrance to kind of commemorate the finals of the ATP. Now, let me tell you this, guys, that if you guys are into the ATP series or you're into tennis, you're a tennis player, and you're thinking that this fragrance could possibly be like a tennis themed fragrance, that this fragrance has anything to do with tennis or the ATP. Let me tell you guys, honestly, that this does not okay this is not really about tennis this fragrance has nothing to do with tennis uh whatsoever but it is a special fragrance that does commemorate the event so i just want to throw that out there uh because if a lot of y'all were looking at all the literature and the photos of this fragrance with the tennis backdrop you guys might be thinking it's like a tennis uh inspired tennis based fragrance i assure you it is not now what this is though is a very interesting fragrance that does have an interesting mix of notes guys and i will go from opening to mid because that's pretty much the most prominent part of this fragrance you are going to get bergamot saffron eucalyptus those are the notes in the opening part and then headed into the mid you're going to get mate which is used in tea clary sage as well as gayak wood guys okay so as you can tell just on paper it's a very very interesting mix guys now for me when i sprayed this fragrance okay my overall feel was like okay i am getting the properties that are meditative that are calming and relaxing very reminiscent of the last initio that i did which was paragon i did a review on that but the difference was paragon for example was like full-on meditative calming uh zen type of perfume but here with uh serjoff torino 22 although you get 
the mild camphorous eucalyptus although you get that although you get the tea like mate smell which kind of pulls it in the category of paragon what you will get though is also these other notes that pull you back to familiar territory and they kind of go 50 50 on this fragrance right here so my assessment is that this fragrance is like trying to be different but not too different like it doesn't go too much astray and it kind of pulls you back with fragrance notes that you already know from the saffron from the woods from the musk as well as the clary sage and so the overall feel is like total 50 50 it's like different but the same if that makes sense as you are wearing this fragrance you are going to enjoy the calming meditative properties of the eucalyptus you are going to enjoy the mate tea like smell right here but at the same time you get to enjoy kind of like that 50 50 distribution so as you are smelling that you're also enjoying that sweet uh, warm spicy saffron smell as well as that aromatic clary sage that kind of pulls it back into kind of like cologne familiar cologne territory guys even if those other notes are there guys okay so that's the ultimate feel I get with 22 it's different but it's the same it doesn't really truly stray away into something totally foreign to you guys but it will though if you are not used to smelling fragrances that do have mate that do have eucalyptus this will be a little bit different guys okay but overall it's a really nice feel i would say that this is also primarily for the wearer uh, much like paragon was uh, the initial paragon because it just feels really great wearing this and my first impression when i wore this i was like man you know i'm having a great day I'm having a great day wearing this and maybe this is if there was any link to tennis maybe it's that oh it's a great day to play tennis maybe but really my mood was enhanced when I was wearing Torino 22. I really like that it has cooling properties from the eucalyptus it does have uh, these really nice aromatic properties from clary sage as well as the saffron so it's cooling aromatic uplifting i think that it's for the wearer i think it's flexible between day and night because it's really for the wearer it's really for the mood uh, mostly so it's very versatile and headed into the dry down guys you are going to get some nice sensual woods and musk and this fragrance right here also has a predominant woody feel to it like i said because you are going to get gayak wood in the mid and then you are going to get more woods towards the end towards the base notes guys okay so it's a nice woody nuance right here it really does feel good wearing this fragrance guys and speaking of that consistency of the woody nuance right here this is also pretty consistent when it comes to the performance so one thing i do like about the performance of torino 22 is how it stays consistent for hours and hours at least the strength of this fragrance stays consistent for hours and hours you don't get like a strong start to the fragrance and then after like four to five hours it gets pretty weak after that no you're not gonna get that with torino 22 actually it does have a consistent strength that does last for nine to ten hours guys okay so if you liked the meditative properties of torino 22 with that feel good kind of like cologne saffron spice smell then you are gonna like torino 22 and in my opinion this fragrance will grow on you this is a must try rather than a must buy i wouldn't consider blind buying this what i would do is to get a sample set like i did and try it more than three to four times to really get a feel if you like this type of fragrance because this fragrance is kind of specialized it does have eucalyptus it does have mate and those notes honestly some people might not have those in the referential system so they're kind of 50 50 notes right but you must try this first and again experience the blend that i was talking about with those different shading notes but then at the same time you have really familiar clary sage saffron musk and woods to really pull you back into a nice equilibrium guys so this is a must try try it more than four times again i like the performance of this i wouldn't say that i would come rushing and buying this right here but yeah it's a pretty good one okay guys next up torino 21 this was a summer banger that a lot of y'all were actually you know messaging me to try back in the summer but man i was really busy back then but anyways torino 21 i finally get to review this right here let's go spray this thing right now Ooh. <laughs> 
Mm. Now, Torino 21, to be honest, is more linked to tennis or the ATP, to be honest, because if you have like this nice fine day to start playing the game, I feel like this is a fragrance that I would wear before actually doing that. You know, if I had the whole tennis outfit, the white on white, and I would go play tennis today, this would be it right here because this is obviously a boost of freshness like most of you know. But of course, I'm gonna talk about the scent development because a lot of people really focus on the mint, but really not a lot of people focus on the other good things that Torino 21 has, such as the first salvo of notes. Now, right here on the top notes, you are going to get lemon, you are gonna get basil, thyme, as well as the well-known spearmint or mint spearmint combination right here in the mix. Now, the opening to me, guys, first and foremost, before going into the mint, I liked that combination of lemon, thyme, and basil because this one right here truly reminded me of places like Canada, like open field Canada or Switzerland, where you have really that fresh middle of the forest feel. And you are gonna get that basically with the herbaceous thyme, with the aromatic basil. It does feel both fresh spicy, but at the same time, you've got this cool air foresty feel that is again, really nice uplifting. It feels great wearing it. And that's what I get initially with Torino 21 with the lemon. This one lasts, I would say, a prominent 30 to 40 minutes before the mint even comes in, guys, okay? So for me, I was already quite satisfied with that first part. But then, of course, the note of mint did come in within like 30 to 40 minutes, guys. And it's a lovely spearmint smell. Yes, reminiscent of double mint gum. Oh my God, that just showed my age right there. But yes, it does smell like spearmint from a gum, like a double mint gum. And it kind of just adds up, doubles up on the freshness of this fragrance. And if there was ever a similarity to Torino 22, which I assure you, mostly it's not, but if there was a similarity, it's that 21 is also an absolute mood enhancer. In a different way though, because it's not meditative. It's sort of like a power boost, an energy boost. It's almost like being in that middle of that forest, guys, and really taking in the clean, fresh air. That's the feeling of trying out this fragrance right here. So not only do you get that really nice lemon, basil, thyme intro, but you also get that nice mint as well. Mint, spearmint, that is what you get right here. So it's a good mood enhancer. It's really great for the start of the day. And that's the similarity, I would say, for 22. They're both great mood enhancers. Now, this fresh, nice, minty boost to me lasted for two hours, okay? Maybe one and a half to two hours. And then the mid notes really do come in. And I'm going to discuss both the mid to bass at the same time because really from this point on, it's kind of like this alternating smell, guys. Now, right here in the mid, you are going to get the beautiful aromatic notes of lavender and rosemary. So you're gonna get the uplifting, uh, aromatic aspect continue on right here in the mid. You are also going to get a fresh floral courtesy of the jasmine, and then you are going to get fruity aspects of black currant as well as lemon verbena, guys. And towards the end, musk does come in to complete that feel, to give you that sensual feel. But the thing is, like I said, right here from mid to end, it's like an alternating feel. You are going to get the alternating aspects of the herbal aromatic feels. You're gonna get the lavender and rosemary, and then suddenly you're gonna get these lingering wigs of fruity notes like black currant and even the lemon verbena. The musk comes in, I would say four hours into the fragrance all the way into the end, just centralizing the dry down of this fragrance. But from mid to dry down, it's a nice alternating feel of uplifting, aromatic, and fruity notes all together, guys. And so it's really nice, guys. I would say that this fragrance right here will be more known for that first two hours, that initial fresh boost that it gives with the spearmint. I think that's what 
a lot of people will remember the most about Torino 21. Mid to dry down, kind of predictable guys, okay? You're gonna get the aromatic facets, you're gonna get musk, you're gonna get some fruity notes, some black currant and lemon. It's really nice, I mean, it's really nice, but like I said, the opening of this is pretty stellar. That's two hours that you get to enjoy that stellar intro right here. Now, performance-wise, much like other freshies, this fragrance gives you a nice initial blast, a splash of freshness, for a good, you know, two to three hours, guys, and then it settles down into a nice lingering aromatic scent, okay? And this one right here, although it's not as consistently strong as 22, it's pretty decent though. And this one lasts about nine to 10 hours on me, significant scent, significant lingering scent. So very, very decent performance right here from Sergeoff Torino 21. Now, if you ask me, guys, which one would I choose full bottle worthy. Now, as of right now, I haven't bought any full bottle worthy scents right now because I do have a pretty long testing phase as a reviewer. Now, Torino 21 to me is what I would choose as the more full bottle worthy fragrance. And the reason for that is because if we look at how many sprays are in a bottle, I would rather have you know, a hundred plus sprays of a sure shot thing that I can easily refer to, that I can easily grab versus like 40 to 50 sprays of like a 50-50 fragrance, a fragrance that maybe I'll use today or not. But when it comes to like freshness, work, or even playing tennis, I feel like Torino 21 is the full bottle one. But that doesn't mean that 22 isn't a full bottle worthy fragrance, it's just a grower you have to test it and see how it grows on you. Now, if you like fragrances like Initial Paragon, then this one is a good one right here. And I would say that this one has a better balance versus Paragon of having these meditative eucalyptus mate fragrance notes. And then at the same time, there's still that balance with the things that you guys already know. So I would say compared to Paragon, I like Torino 22 a lot better. So that's the thing I would say. For me, full bottle worthy for me would be 21 though. And I really do like that fragrance. It is something that I would buy for the next spring summer season. And the only reason I'm not rushing to buy Torino 21 is that this fragrance unfortunately does resemble one of my full bottle fragrances already. And that is pure distance, I notice. Yes, I notice. I did review that already. And if you look at the notes, they're pretty similar in a way. There's like mint, there's citrus, there's aromatic notes. Same with a notice. And so because of a notice, I'm not really buying 21. But if I didn't have a notice, then yeah, I would be buying 21 as a full bottle worthy spring summer fragrance, guys. Okay, so that is it. That is my quick review, quick comparison of both fragrances, Torino 21 and Torino 22. Okay, both really nice fragrances from the house of Sergeoff. Now, let me know in the comments, guys, what you think of both these fragrances. I'm sure that there's a, more than a handful of you guys that have already tried 22 because it's already available from the sample set. Interestingly, both fragrances have nothing to do with the original Torino, which I really love so much. They're not related to Torino. They're not related to each other. So I'm assuming that if there's gonna be a Torino 23, that it would be yet another different fragrance. And that's quite exciting to think about, guys, okay? So let me know in the comments what you think. And again, please do not forget to like and subscribe. We're headed to 14K, guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. God bless, take care, peace.